Exchanging data so everything lines up just right between Revit and Civil 3D has always been easier said than done. However, the shared reference point tool from Autodesk dramatically simplifies this process. For the CAD Geek, I'm Donnie Gladfelter, and in this video, I'm going to share with you how to use the shared reference point tool to exchange data between Revit and Civil 3D. So our story is going to begin right here inside of Revit, where I am going to export the building footprint, or at least the building floor plan. And to do that, I'm simply going to the application menu, export CAD formats, DWG, and I'll follow the prompts to create a DWG file. Now the DWG file is obviously going to include anything that is included in that view. And when I get that over into AutoCAD, I am going to dramatically simplify it. So it's really just the footprint of the building. That's all I'm interested in for my site plan. So with that in place, what I can do is switch over to my site plan. And you can see I've already figured out where I'd like to put this building. I am simply going to use the insert command to go ahead and place that on my site. Now, I am going to use my object snaps here so I can snap right where I want this building to be, right there. And what's important to note, in addition to setting the horizontal location, as we call it in the civil engineering world, uh, by using my object snap, you'll notice that I have also established the finished floor elevation for this floor plan as well. And that's really important because the shared reference point tool is going to pick that up for me. So inside of Civil 3D, what I need to do is come over here to my toolbox and with the shared reference point tool installed, you'll find the export shared reference point uh, for Autodesk Revit tool right here in the toolbox. Double click on that and now we're going to follow the prompts. It's going to begin by asking me to select an origin point. So I'll just use my endpoint object snap to pick this corner of the building and for the positive or quasi north as it's called uh, position i will pick this corner of the building right here now what that will do is open up this dialog box where i do want to pay attention to what it is telling me now i know that this building is in the NAD 83 State Plains South Foot for Virginia coordinate system. And so I know that that belongs in the 11 million, 3 million coordinates. I likewise know that I set the finished floor elevation to 190 feet. So that all looks good. Now, this is an area that will trip you up. It defaults to metric units, which is great for the rest of the world. But if you're in the United States where we like to do things in imperial units, you do need to make sure that whatever the units of your drawing match what you set right here. In this case, my drawing is set up in feet. So I'm going to select feet right here and say, OK. Now, what I'm going to do is this is going to write out a XML file. So I'm going to just name this the CAD Geek site XML and I'll save over top of that. And so this has created an XML file that contains the basic position data of this building. So now if I switch back over here to Revit, what I can do is import that shared reference point. So over on the add ins tab with the shared reference point tool installed here as well, I will click this button, most attractive one in the ribbon, import shared reference or shared coordinates from an XML file. Now, what I'm going to do here, it's going to give me the same prompts asking me to select an origin. So I'm going to come in right here and pick the origin. And then I'm going to pick the same point that I picked in the drawing right here as well. It's just important. It doesn't matter what the points are. Just make sure you select the same points. So here I'm going to select the CAD Geek site and say open. And it's going to ask me, do I really want to create a shared coordinate? Yes, I do. OK, so that coordinate is in this model now. However, it's not actually being used for anything. In order to actually set it to what in Revit speak is called true north or the survey point, I need to come over here to the manage tab and more specifically the location button that I'll find here on the project location panel. Now, a lot of folks when they're using Revit will set the address here on the location tab and that's good for project uh, various energy analysis and that sort of thing. But for our purposes, we want to switch over here to the site tab. And after importing that XML file that I exported from Civil 3D, we will find it right here in the list. So I'm just going to pick on that and I'm going to say make current. And from just that click, I'll say OK. 
the model's survey point has been established. And in fact, if I scroll down here to the orientation field, you'll see that right now it's set to Project North and everything looks as you probably expect it to inside of Revit. If I change this now to True North, you will see that the entire building rotates to match the orientation that I had inside of Civil 3D. So there you have it for the CAD Geek. I'm Donnie Gladfelter, and that's how to use the shared reference point tool between Civil 3D and Revit.